Now in this example, we've got to prove then that tan theta plus cot theta, cotangent theta, is identical to 2 cosecant 2 theta or 2 cosec 2 theta. So to do this, write out proof. And which side would I take? Well, I'll take the left-hand side because we've got two terms here and we are going to reduce it to one term. And I feel that's going to be a lot easier. So we've got tan theta then plus cot theta. What's this identical to? Well, I get some inspiration, some ideas, if you like, from looking at 2 cosec 2 theta. I'll show you what I mean. What do we mean by cosec 2 theta? Well, cosec of 2 theta is identical to 1 over sine 2 theta. Cosec 1 over sine. So cosec 2 theta 1 over sine 2 theta. And we should know what the sine of 2 theta is. Sine of 2 theta, if we stuck to the identity of sine 2a, which is 2 sine a cos a, the theta is now the a, so we get 2 sine a, or 2 sine theta, cos theta. We've got a 2 here. If we had 2 cosec 2 theta, then there will be a 2 at the top here. And we'd have a 2 here. And those two 2's would cancel now and give me 1 over sine theta, cos theta. So I'm getting the idea that what we need to prove is basically a function, if you like, in terms of sine theta and cos theta. So these two terms here need to be turned into sines and cosines. Well, I know that tan of theta is the same as sine theta over cos theta. And cot theta is the same as cos theta over sine theta. So I've got my sines and cosines being used here. Now I've got two terms here, sine theta over cos theta one term, cos theta over sine theta the other term. And I want one term, so I need to group these two fractions together. And in the usual way, if, you've got, if you're adding fractions, you need to find a common denominator. And that common denominator is going to be cos theta sine theta. So to simplify this, what am I multiplying cos theta by to give cos theta sine theta in the denominator here? Well, it's sine theta, so I need to multiply the top of the fraction too by sine theta. So we've already got sine theta, multiply it with another sine theta, and you've got sine squared theta. And when it comes on to this term, the denominator sine theta is being multiplied by cos theta. So we have to do the same to the top multiply this cos theta with another cos theta and we get cos squared theta. Now you should recognize what the top is. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, well-known identity, always comes to 1. So you've got 1 over cos theta sine theta. Now isn't this looking familiar? We had this over here. So it's just a question of working backwards. We can multiply this fraction by essentially 1 in the disguise of 2 over 2 and not change its value. So what we get is 2 then over 2 cos theta sine theta. Now 2 cos theta sine theta is the same as 2 sine theta cos theta which is the identity sine 2 theta. And we've seen that this is the same as 2 times 1 over sine 2 theta, which is going to be cosec 2 theta. So we end up with 2 cosec 2 theta. All right?